Hey folks, Species 7 here. How's everybody doing? Well, it's been a while since we've been back down here on the farm. So my apologies for that. And uh, what we have here is a little front-end loader from that uh, new DLC pack that Giants released. Ah, cool little device. Not uh, Doesn't look quite as articulating as your modern devices, but there you be. So anyway, this is my Let's Play of Farming Simulator 2013 by Giants Games. This is, of course, still being played on the modded map called Hegenstead My Way version 3. And that's uh, J. Turner 10's map. You can find it over at fsuk.com along with most of the other mods you see in this Let's Play. The ones that aren't there you will find at the Farming Simulator's own mod site. So, but I picked this little thing up. Well, one, it's cheap. Um, but two, I have a use for it. What I wanted to do today, and actually, um, what I'm going to do here first is see if we can't make it morning. Now that we have no crops in the field, let's get the sun to come up. But I was going to cultivate the fields here, and I realized that for some really weird reason I've apparently left a couple of bales laying in the middle of it so I thought rather than go all the way out to the old cow farm and grab one of these things oh creaky squeaky poor old thing I would uh, spend the little amounts of dollars that this thing costs and pick us up one looks kinda cool yeah. Animation's a little shaky there in the front end, eh? But. Mm hmm. Oh, there's absolutely no, uh. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh. Well, there you go. You can scoop things, you can lift them up, and then to dump them, you simply click your other mouse button. Why not funky? Alright, whoops. Let's go see on these other bales. Zoom. I just want to have a look here. What's this thing called? Anyway, just to let you guys know. This is the Goldner G40 front loader. <laughs> 38 horsepower. Wow. I've had dirt bikes that had more horsepower. But, cheap enough, 17k. Nice little tractor, and for 450 bucks, we got ourselves a bale fork. So, ah, morning has come, but it is foggy as a booger. So let's go find ourselves those bales and deal with that, shall we? We can find them in the fog. Yeah, that's nice and level, so I like the way they set that up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And as I don't have a trailer and stuff, I'm just going to haul these just over to the brown shed over there. Oh, that can be an issue. Don't tell me it doesn't work. Come on, giants. What's the matter with you? I will check here. Yeah, see it... Uh, that's not very good. Well, that's not very impressive. Uh, change tool, release fork. Hmm, no. Well, hopefully it'll stay on there so we can get it over to the barn. Whoa! Not very good! I'm just going to slow the day down here again, otherwise we'll find it's uh, night time. There you go. I think this has got to be the first time since I've started this series that it's actually been bright enough to see anything. Okay, this is just terrible. I would have thought that, uh, considering Giants themselves released this DLC, that it would have done a little better than that. Not impressed. Hmm. 
And I suppose, worst come to worst, we could all go, well, you gets what you pays for. See if we can ski it over in the general direction until we can get another pickup on it. Um, all of the front loaders, you basically you have to uh, approach the bales from the sides. But if I can get over to this brown shed here, which it's really fighting me on for some reason, but if I can get it over to there, we can actually sell it. And uh, I suppose if I was going to do it bumper car style, I could have done it with any tractor, would have pushed it over here. Oh, come on. You cannot tell me you're stuck. <laughs> there we go. And ka-ching. Okay. <laughs> well, that was absolutely painful. <laughs> oh, my. But that's supposed to be the bale fork. Oh, no, I left a few of them. Wow, I probably should have got the darn thing. Well, I think what I'm going to do is we'll get this one off the field. And I will deal with those other ones at another point. So I will. Yeah, this just absolutely won't pick them up. That's ridiculous. I say that really makes me wonder why Giants would bother releasing a DLC that doesn't work. Huh. Doesn't look good on their game, I mean. Well, kudos to the modding community, because they do a better job than this most of the time. I don't know why this is staying on. I think it's just because it's actually being pushed against the ground. Oh, I didn't want to hit that weight in particular, but that's okay. So how much do we get? We're at 40.07. Not bad. $675 or something. Cool. All right. Well, I think we're going to park Mr. Gimpy Buffalo here. In fact, I think he can live over here by the bale farm shed thing. Nice. Okay. Because what I really wanted to do today... Now, we've seen most of the crops get harvested. I showed you sugar beets with the... Uh, well, as I said, the, the less than peak piece of equipment to do it. Um, a couple of ways to get corn down off the stalk. Um, we also harvested, let's see, barley and wheat. So, and this is what you're basically left with once you run your harvester over it, is all this stubbly crap. Now, I do have a cedar that um, kind of has a cultivator thing built in. It's what they call a drill cedar. And, uh, yeah, I could run that over here, and it would both seed and cultivate, but I sort of wanted to show the steps for people that haven't uh, seen the game or aren't aware of the steps. So this is a cultivator. There it is, and it's hauling it down the highway position. And you go the other way, and that's always the X button to unfold. Well, you can see that up there, but now you can't. And that's F1, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's your cultivator, and it's basically just a whole bunch of wheels and tines and discs and it's meant to grind up the stubble that's left on the field and grind it into the dirt. So we will lower it down so it's nice and flush with the earth and it's not powered it just drags all this gear through so we can hire a worker. There we go. Oops. What happened there? Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, he stopped because I was in the way of the uh, cultivator. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Okay. So the next thing we're going to need to do to that field 
Let's grab ourselves a tractor. Is that the sprayer over there? Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, let's go grab ourselves a tractor. And I'm thinking... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Nothing back there. Oh, just the big boys, eh? Hmm. Alrighty, well. Tell you what. Let's give you the job. I don't know where all the small tractors are at the moment. Because the next job we would normally do in this scenario is this. Now this particular sprayer will mount front or back. Uh, and I picked the wrong one for that because this doesn't have a back pickup. So I'm going to have to use a different tractor. I don't know where the heck all my tractors are. I could put this on the back, but I really don't want to. So let's see. We can, uh... Okay, we know what you're doing. Now they're all hanging out here at the darn sheep and cattle farms, what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. Hmm. Alright, well. Come with me, boy. want to set the weight down over here. There we go. As I actually uh, prefer to do this in a one-step process. There we go. Hook that up. 69%. Well, we might as well fill it. So to fill it, we just drive over to this blue tank. Get the implement fairly close. There doesn't seem to be an actual side that the filler hose is on or anything. And press our R button. And keep in mind, again, if you're hiring a worker, you don't really have to worry about keeping your gear full because the worker fills it as he uses it. So your tractors will always have gas, your sprayers will always have spray, etc., etc. So. The other thing we want, of course, is a cedar. So let's grab this one. Come. There we go. And I think this time around, we are going to go... Oh, I really got to get that weight out of the middle of them. I think we're going to go canola down here. I think our other guy's finished already. Yes, he is. Lovely, we can get him started on another field. So, let's get this set up here now. Uh, we are on the back tool, so let's unfold it. And then with the O key, we're going to pick our crop. There's canola. Now, I'm going to move to the front implement, the sprayer, and I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to lower it down first. And then I'm going to turn it on. Now I'll move to the rear implement, lower it down, turn it on, and hire a worker. And there you go. Now he's going to sow the field and spray it. Because those are the two steps you need to do afterwards. You only need to plow a field if you're going to go from, in this game anyway, if you're going to go from grass 
to an actual cereal crop or, um, you know, sweet potato or corn or um, sugar beet or corn. Otherwise, you don't need to. You only need to cultivate, um, plant, and spray. So again, we got the issue here with hay bales. So let's get our cultivator in place, and I think I didn't quite come far enough this time. There we go. Grazie. Unfold. Lower it down with the V button. Hire our worker. And... Nice. What are you? Well, you're a truck with a bunch of grass in it, aren't you? What was I going to do with you when you grew up? Feed the sheep. Okay, let's feed the sheep. Come on. Turn it around. Turn it around. There you go. Seeing as it's been a whole day since we fed them. Surely they've eaten a truckload of grass by now. <laughs> Oops. Might have got a little close there. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. We got less than 1% out. <laughs> Alright, come on. I'm gonna go push those other bales off the field. I'll actually pick them up when I need to bring a baler down. If this guy hasn't already pushed them off, that is. Nope, I think I'm in time. It's a race. It's a race. Go, buddy, go, go. You bonk. Get it off the field? Oh, just about. Stable tractor, though. Most of them, if you take a sharp turn, they roll over on you. Not this guy. I guess he doesn't weigh enough. Doesn't have the momentum to roll over. Uh-oh. Gotta lift the fork. He was hung up on it. Oh, sure. Yeah, right. I believe you're on there. Let's run you over to the barn and sell you if you're on there so good, shall we? Sure. Oh, look at that. You're sitting right down on the farmer's lap. I'll bet he likes that. Sure he does. <laughs> ah, yay, yay, yay. Come on, giants. Really? <clears throat> Alright, well, did I forget to mention it was free DLC? <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, <laughs> beautifully done. You gotta like a hay bale with a sense of humor. Oh, there's that weight again. Yeah, I think I'll... Selling more. Ching ching. Nice. <laughs> Alright, which side is this weight facing? I think I'm just gonna get it out of the way here at least. Yeah. Whoops. Damn. Because it actually has a three-point hitch, so I should be able to pick it up with the back of this tractor. There we go. Now, let's just run it over here. <laughs> I can't steer. That's cute. It's so much weight in the back, the front wheels are off the ground. That's wonderful. Okay. And there you pretty much have it. Those are the steps required. You need to cultivate the field, then you need to sow the field and spray the field. And then before you know it, 
once you have your fields down. What I'd like to do is get two or three fields, whatever I feel comfortable with, completely done. Um, sewed, sprayed, right up to the point where they're ready to grow. And is he just going to knock this bale out of the way? I wanted to see this. Um, and then I'll advance, perfect, advance the clock a day. And then do another couple of fields. What are you doing, man? Weren't you done? Oh, you were going to do that a lot. Oh, you're done, man. Get out of the tractor, dude. Huh, it's weird. Usually by the time you get to the last row, the worker's already gone for lunch. This guy didn't want to get out of the tractor. <coughs> um... But I say, yeah, give it a day's grace between. Otherwise, what you end up with... I almost forgot I had another field today. I think. Let's get down and have a look here. Oh, no, this one's done. Huh. No, I don't know. No, it's not done. Yeah, I'd be fooling myself. Um, <sighs> yeah, it gives you... A, give yourself a day or two's grace. One day is probably good. That way it gives you time to actually harvest without having to worry about having 15 fields all come up at once and putting you in a position where something's going to rot because you just know it has been done. Perfect. Oops. Perfect. Um, putting you in a position where your crops are going to rot. Well, if it has, why hasn't it been sprayed? You know, just because you physically can't harvest and do the other steps quickly enough. So, okay. Let's try this. I might have just been off too far for him to actually hire. Because he would not... Uh, he went a couple of feet and quit. That usually means that job's already done. Yep, that's exactly what the issue is. So we just need to sow this field and spray it. There we go. Um, the map that shows you your crop status, I'll go to that. Not this one. This one. Hang on. There we go. Um, this map, it doesn't show you um, any of the stages other than what actually has crops planted in it and that's the one we just did that field so you can see there's no crop planted where we just were but it has been um, this is grass that I planted here by the way and yeah it's ready for harvesting actually so um, the reason they say removing the tops because with grass that's all you do is you cut it um, this one ready to harvest I was pretty sure that's just grass too weird Oh, this says growing. Okay, I've already cut this grass, and this grass is ready to harvest. Okay, makes sense. There we go. So, but I think um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you for this episode. Not the most exciting one. As I said, I'm kind of disappointed that the uh, first thing we try from the new DLC pack doesn't really work all that impressively, does it? I mean... Not really much point, unless it's, well, I may try that. When we can uh, pick ourselves up a round baler, I will do that. Or maybe I'll just do a DLC spotlight um, on a different map. Maybe an old school, oops, um, map with small fields and tight roads and stuff. And we'll get a bunch of that DLC content, the historical stuff. And just see how it works. But I think until then, I'm going to park this guy. If I'm capable of it. And I'm apparently not. There we go. Come on. Pretend you've played this game before. There we go. Lovely. And, uh... Bid all of you YouTubers adieu for the moment. So this has been Species 7. This is Farming Simulator 2013. Until next time, ciao for now.